Excuse my ragtag appearance. I have been under great duress lately. At Christmas time, I got to go out to California for a few days and surprise my son and be with my son and his girlfriend. And I had a nice time. I came back to St. Louis, finding that my mother had a high fever, and had had a high fever for several days. My brother did not take her to the doctor or call the doctor. I said, in the morning we're calling the doctor. So we took her in. She had been severely dehydrated. She was like dust in cellophane. She was so dehydrated they couldn't even see her veins. Took her to the hospital. She was admitted, put IV in her arms. And after about a day, she looked a lot better. I mean, she was like pretty much dead on the day we took her in. She won't eat. She has swallowing problems. And she's 86, and when people get older, you know, you have various problems. Well, she has a lot more problems than any of us knew. Whether doctor-patient privilege, whether she told the doctor not to inform us of any of her stuff, like 40% of her lungs work, only 40%, and she's got a blood clot in her heart, and all kinds of nasty things that we had no clue. Now, I knew she had emphysema. But, I mean, there's all... And she's got some rare blood disease. Boy, oh boy. My dad had too many red blood cells. She has not enough red blood cells. It's like, oh my gosh. So, I mean, it's a whole lot of big circus, horrible, nightmarish circus going on. And it was a decision whether or not to put a feeding tube in her. And my brother had the ultimate decision, and he says no. So it's a matter of time. I've been at my mom's house cleaning up. The idea was to get a room all nice and clean, and get it paint repainted, and get all nice and clean and everything for her to be at home under hospice care. It's really difficult, and I don't like thinking about it, because she holds the key to my living in this house, basically. I can't afford it. I can barely afford to pay the bills. She's been helping me in that respect. It's a long, long story as to how and why. But I'm worried. I don't want to live in the street. I don't want to panic. And if the doctor-patient privilege could have told us all what state she, her health was in a while back, we all could have at least emotionally prepared and planned a lot better. Which I, I think if they were withholding information, it's very unfair to the people that are around the person affected. So I'm having a really difficult time. I did manage to get my most of my videos up. I think I might have a few more things in the camera I'll have to look. But I got most of the California stuff up now. And uh, yeah, it was fun. And it was cool. And it's so far away from the East Coast. And the East Coast is closer to Europe. So <laughs> oh, I'm a mess. More of a mess than I usually am. Upward and onward.